Okay, let's evaluate a definite integral. This one's gonna be a linear function, six x plus nine evaluated between two and nine. So as we do this, we can kind of deal with each individual term by itself. And in this case, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, use the power rule where the six can basically come along, the constant out in front, we're gonna increase the exponent by one. So it had a, an exponent of one, it's gonna go up to two, and then we're gonna divide by our new exponent. So we go six divided by two multiplied by x squared. That takes care of integrating the six x. And then we have a constant. Well, integrating this, the nine, what we can do is we can simply put an x with it. Um, and you can kind of reverse this if you wanna think about integrating is the reverse of taking derivatives. So if you know how to take derivatives, you know the derivative of nine x is simply gonna be nine. Now this is all supposed to be evaluated between two and nine. So we'll go ahead and put our bounds of integration over there. And then this can simplify down a little bit more by thinking instead of six divided by two, we can think three. Now I'm plugging in the nine, the top value, into each one of these x's. And then we want to subtract away when we plug in two in for each of these. So again, I'm thinking six divided by two makes three, multiplied by two squared plus nine multiplied by two. Now it is important as we do this subtracting away that all of this is subtracted away. That's why I use the big set of parentheses around all of it. Where students make their mistake is they'll subtract away this term, but they'll forget that the second term also needs to be subtracted. All right, now, oops, I forgot my square here. Let's go ahead and evaluate this. So we're thinking three times 81, nine squared is gonna be 81 is gonna be 243 plus 81 minus, and I'm gonna do this computation on the inside here, just to show my work. So we have three times two squared is four, which makes 12, plus nine times two makes 18. So 243 plus 81 minus 30. I can drop my parentheses now that I've combined the 12 and the 18 together, or you could have distributed that negative from the outside. Either way would get you to the right place. And then finally, we'll just combine these together. We get 294. All right, for a nice exact answer on this one. Um, so as you get doing these, take your time. This really is just working one term at a time, integrating uh, individually, and then plug in uh, the top bound of integration, the nine, gets plugged in for each of the x's, subtract away when you plug in the bottom bound of integration, and then take your time on simplifying down. It's really just algebra from that point on. I right, hope this helps out on uh, understanding these a little bit better. Good luck.